All right, we just have to try it, you know? Always got, oh. <laughs> Suck me right in. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Weird Ass Games. This is a series where I check out some usually very small indie games that are a little bit odd. Now, this first one is called Glitch Phobia. It was a game jam game, and from what I understand, it's a puzzle about glitches. So it says go through the door. I have a sneaky suspicion. That, like, okay, yep, yep, we're already... God, is this like a horror game? So I clearly can't go through this door. Like I was saying, I have a sneaky suspicion this is obviously the door we need to go through. And yes, indeed, that's the case. Okay, so we got a hole in the roof. Got some damn blocks that are actually physics-based, which is pretty cool. Maybe I have to jump on these? That would be really difficult to bounce these. Jesus Christ. To bounce these around to get up to the roof. What? <laughs> I didn't expect that. I jumped on a cube, and now I'm on the side wall. Okay, so I can't just... Oh, never mind. I can. I'm clearly a freaking spider. Okay, so we're just going to uh, fall through the roof. What? And now we are in water. This is actually really cool. I love trippy puzzle games like this. And it looks like this one's being drained. So am I supposed to just go in the drain? I think it like slowly... Oh, no. It's still sinking. That's for damn sure. It doesn't... It's not going above my head, though. There we go. Oh, God. Is that a shark? I see a triangle-like fin thing and I freak out in a game like this. Okay, so clearly... I don't know what we can do here. Can we swim? The hell is that thing? Okay, so yes, I can indeed swim, and my god, here we are in the next room. So it looks- oh. Hey, that's me. What's up, me? Oh, what the hell? Okay, this is weird. Uh, what? So, all my controls, the moment I looked at myself- wait, what? Now it's going back to normal. Anyways, my controls are mirrored about half the time. Maybe when I look at the mirror- I'm so confused, because, like, I'm going- Backwards to go forwards right now and left and right is actually the same, but before it wasn't anyways. What the hell am I? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in a straight jacket. I have no shoes on and my penis face is blurred That seriously looks like, kind of like a penis. I have no idea what that is. I, I, th I think it's actually just a head I'm I'm just weird like that. Okay, so I can't even <laughs> I can't even walk. Okay now I'm going backwards. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out It's the moment I look at him. Yep. It's all that has to do with the mirror, but when I don't look at him, my left and right is mirrored. So this is extremely confusing. Um, is there any way to get out? Maybe I got to... Oh. Maybe I got to bring... Wait, what? You got you to got chair stuck in you, dude! Do I have a chair stuck in me? No, I don't have a chair stuck in me. So what the... Whoa! Okay. I, I, I don't know what I did right, but I did it right, so we're going to move on. Oh god, that turned black. Okay, okay. Okay, so clearly it just turns black. I saw that I... <laughs> I was like, I saw that I could go over here and I fell right down the freaking hole. So let's make sure, let's go all the way to the wall this time. Now there shouldn't... Wait! It's a lie! Okay, oh wait, no, there is a hole over there. I didn't even notice. Oh god damn it, man. It keeps resetting. No, stop this. Okay, I think I figured it out. So this one... I was so confused for the longest time. The moment you stop, yeah, it resets. So you have to kind of memorize what we have to run through. So we obviously have to go this way, all the way around, back, and there. The problem is, like, it's pitch black, so... Man, this is going to take forever to get right. All right, let's try and look at it. See, the problem is I have to use this as my guidance, because that's my only reference of where I kind of am. So... We need to go, like, right to in front of it. There we go. Turn this way. Go this way. Damn it. So close. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes! Holy crap. Where the hell am I now? Okay, I did it. Oh, my God. This is so trippy. I love it. I love games like this. I don't know why, but I absolutely do. And it looks like we're back at the front. So, yeah, that was just a quick game jam game, but a damn cool puzzler at that. All right, and this next one is called My Legs Got Tubed. Why is everybody shaking so much? Great. So they literally just ripped off my legs. Um, 
That's not good unless you're gonna give me some new ones. What is going on with your hands? Seriously, you should not be a doctor if your hands are that shaky, dude. Okay, they're just gonna throw out my legs. It looks like great. Thanks, bros. Thanks, really appreciate it. What is, is this an ostrich? <laughs> now we just have to fix their legs. We didn't kill them. All right, so it looks like they misplaced my legs. Oh my God, that's zoom. And here we are in my legs got tubed. So all I have is my hands at my disposal, and it's very similar to something like getting over it with Bennett Foddy. So I'm assuming, oh my God. Oh, this is gonna take a little while to get used to. Why, why can my hands expand? Like seriously, these things are so big. Okay, so I'm getting the hang of it. We got some, we can push off things. Uh, we can kind of push off the ground too. Can I grab the medical container? I guess not. All right, so we're just gonna go throughout the hospital here without my legs. No big deal. What's up, dude? Looks like he doesn't want to talk to me. I, I, I guess not many people would probably want to talk with someone who looks like me. Uh, get fit, do some push-ups. Try with your mouse. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Pushing it up. A lot easier to do push-ups when you have half the body, but yes, very similar to getting over it with Bennett Foddy. This is, uh, basically a direct clone of that. Well, at least from gameplay style. The game totally looks different, though. Please do not jump out of the window. You know I freaking am. All right, hold on here. Hold on here. Come on. Oh, man. Okay, so we're gonna have to grab the ledge. And there we go. Oh my god, we're actually escaping. Should we go down? Or should we go up? Oh, there's gotta be something. Oh, this is really getting like getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Can I go back? Because I want to see... Is there anything down? <laughs> oh, my head's too big. I just, I just love his reaction here. Okay, we're gonna have to get out of there. Oh god, I'm so glad I came back to that. Man, we almost got up to the roof. Okay, we got some boxes out of the way. Amazon Prime must have came today. And, oh, look at that. Checkpoint. Nice. Okay, so I think we're going to kind of get into, like, rage territory soon. Why did I just, like, run away from the hospital, by the way? They still have my legs. I should probably stay there. Get life insurance. That's something we're definitely going to need. There we go. Holy crap. Slow down, buddy. And another checkpoint for my legs got tubed guy. I don't know what we should call this guy. Let's call him North because there's no South of him left. Oh God, okay, I wasn't supposed to <laughs> go down there. Ah, oh, good old North. I kinda, I, kinda, I kinda do like that name now, now that I think about it. That was pretty good. All right, so I think I get the idea. There's only two levels with this, by the way. Okay, so we have to, oh my God, checkpoint. Is it counting down or am I going back? No, I'm not going back to a different checkpoint. It looks like I have only a certain amount of lives. So we gotta do this real quick. We're just gonna hold the side. Oh God, don't, okay. It does? The physics are not the best in this game. I'll be I'll be the first to admit that, but once you get used to them, they're not so bad. Okay, can we not just take the stairs like a normal human being? No, that, that, that would be too obvious. So I guess we gotta jump over this, but I can't seem to grab the rail. So what do you want me to do? There we go, like that? We could have just took the, well, I, I guess we don't have legs. So even taking the stairs would have been hard. Injured, me too. I broke my leg last week looking for someone to rub cream on my leg. Leg needs cream and I don't have a wife to do it. You don't have legs anymore. Oh, you broke your leg. You didn't lose your legs like me. I, I guess that's true. What the hell is this, Mario? All right, there we go. So next one is the H-tube system. Um, Are we literally in a sewer right now? Yes, we are. All right, get out of the way, mice. I got places to be. Can I can I knock on the doors? No, can't can't knock on the doors. All right, so what do we got to do here? There's there's a blocked door. I can't seem to push it open. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go up top, maybe. There might be. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. We're breaking into this to this place. Now it looks like we can maybe yeah get through the wall. There we go. That's how you get through a locked door. Ooh, levers. I like levers. There we go. What the hell did that do? Let's find out. So it's going into there. Hmm. Is there something in here that I need to do? No, I turned on the lever. So do I have to open the door? Maybe climb? Oh, wait. There is something up there. Well, actually... Oh, I think this opened, right? Because there was definitely not a hole here. So let's go down there. We're done! Okay, so that was a very short game, but that was My Legs Got Tube. Now, I know the developer is still working on this one. Still, interesting idea. Okay, I know this looks really wrong, and it kind of is, because this is 
one weird experience. This is called Doll of Resurrection. It's a sex doll game. It's, it's, it's not like that, though. It's like a puzzle platforming game where you are a sex doll, as you can see on the ground here. Now I can't... Oh my god! Holy crap! <laughs> okay, so I just punched and she flipped around, and that's why we can see her beautiful face now. Uh, yeah, this is officially the weirdest character I've ever seen for a game ever, so congratulations. There's something extremely horrifying about seeing a flat female character. I, I don't know. It's just wrong. Anyways, we're going to try it out. It's actually got pretty good, well, decent reviews, and uh, I've heard that it's actually an okay game. So let's go to Resurrection Chapter 1, and uh, I guess we press R. Of all buttons, R. Okay. It floats when the hydrogen is filled. <laughs> it floats when the hydrogen is filled. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. I feel like it should add to that. Okay, so clearly we're at some sort of sexy place, and uh, there's actually cutscenes in this game. <laughs> oh, I love it. I, lo I love that people come up with any idea, and they're like, yeah, we're going to make this game serious. And there is, like, a big backstory behind this game, how humans, you know, they throw away everything, and it's supposed to be all serious and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting that from this game. This is just a really weird game. And there I am, man, just wasted in the trash. And... <laughs> My arm a dangling. Okay, so I guess we just gotta go left and right mouse button to raise your hands. Yes, I know how to do that. Okay, so I do understand a little bit. Oh, the whole goal of this game is to get these stars. So, uh, obviously, we're gonna make our way over there. I'm gonna climb these stairs. It's very dark out. Hard to see. Collect the stars. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. In any game, stars are always what you need to collect. Now... What's actually kind of impressive about this game is you can change the way the doll reacts. You can make it, um, for example, blown up or overblown up, and you can fly with it. I'm not really sure how we how we do that. You know what? Let's go get that star. I would hate to leave one of them. That would be a bad idea. So collect all the stars. That's what we want to do. What does this thing say? Uh, this looks like some sort of news thing. So I think we're in like a future maybe because it looks very sci-fi-ish, you know, the whole town and whatnot. Okay, is that level one right there? We just needed the three stars. That was actually a very quick level. So there we go. Time of 117, and now I'm a male sex doll for some reason. All right, well, there we go. We did the first level. Perfect job, you know, as per usual. And guys, it floats when the hydrogen is fi filled. To cut the knot of hemp ropes with a sharp knife. What? It floats when the hydrogen is filled. To cut the knot with hemp ropes... This is so confusing. Okay, well, that's fine. It doesn't have to make a lot of sense. Now we got fire! Okay, I ain't scared of no fire. You know what? Can we actually, like, take a shortcut here and fall through this crack? Probably, right? Uh, that's how it works. Nope, doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that. That's unfortunate. All right, don't hurt your head, lady. Not that you really can. Oh my god! What the hell? That... I've never felt so much for a sex doll right now. I just totally jinxed it. I was like, don't hurt your head. You totally can't. And she just got freaking impaled. Okay, so we have to be careful here. How the hell am I supposed to avoid this? I'm going to have to jump over it. Jump! God damn it! Come on! Come on! Hold on to it, lady! Yes! There we go. I don't know what that black screen was, but god damn it, we did it. I can't really see very well. Um... Okay, so I'm thinking we definitely want to be flat here. I'm still trying to figure out where to get the hydrogen to get bigger, but I'm assuming we haven't just seen it yet. Now, will this burn me? Oh, God. Let's go, 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 go. I don't want to take the risk. I'm going to die. I'm going to get burnt alive. No, we're actually okay. Oh, God damn it. I just jinxed it again. God damn, she just combusted, man. All right, we're going to try and stay as far away from the flames as possible. Oh, this is going to be actually hard to get around. Okay, 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 we're okay. Get those legs out of there. Go, go, go. Okay, this is actually freaking horrifying. Uh, all right, so is there another checkpoint here? That would be great because we got another flame I got to deal with, and I got to fall down the stairs as well. Oh, God, don't fall down yet. All right, so I have to do this at the right time, so go. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I got lucky there because I should have died to that fire. Oh, God, now I have to avoid the spikes. Avoid the damn... Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. That is just too much for a sex doll, damn it. Oh, did you see that? That speed run there. 
Uh, I got really lucky at the end there. All right, so there we go. Level two, we got all three stars, and it only took me seven minutes. I really hate that there's... <laughs> the female isn't even in this thing. I don't know why. All right, next level. Let's do one more. Okay, I have a sneaky suspicion that we are definitely not going to be a flat sex doll this time. There we go. Left and right click for levitation. Make sure... Article energy in charge. What the frig is article energy? Whatever. All right, so we obviously can blow ourselves up. Is she... Okay, we're not we're not really blowing ourselves up right now. Okay, so it looks like I'm actually not able to blow up yet, but I can do... I can do this. I can kind of, like, fart up into the air and fly a little bit. So, uh, at least we got that going for us. Now I gotta figure out how I want to get up here. You know what? Let's go... Let's go for flight mode here, and... <laughs> This is really a fun game. I don't, I didn't expect that, but it really is. Okay, come on, come on over here. Okay, I'm having a hard time. I don't know why. I mean, I am trying to drive around a sex doll, and that's never an easy thing to do. Oh God. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. This is, this might be worse than getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Oh, oh, come on! I missed it. All right, come on. Hit, hit, hit it with your hair. Hit it. Hit it with something. Oh God damn. Okay, there we go. Come on, fly back up. Okay, well, at least I know where I need to go now. I got one of the three stars, and <laughs> it's just... I don't understand how this flight works. I mean, we're not technically filled right now, but it kind of very roughly works. Okay, so here we go. I think I got the hang of it now. We just need to cross this whole thing. Why is my bar not resetting? All right, for some reason, the bar has a mind of its own sometimes. You know what? That's fine. We're just going to go, and there we go. Skills to pay the bills, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this one's actually flipping in the front here. Okay, this one's coming. Let's go for it. Yeah, man! That's what I'm talking about. Now, how the hell am I going to do this, though? This one's going to be fun. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go for it. Nope! Jumped right over it. Damn it. Oh, God. Do I? Am I still here? No. I'm, okay, I'm dead there. And it looks like we do get a nice reset at least here. Okay, you know what? This spinning one actually stops when it spins one full direction. So we're going to... Try and get on here. Get off. Oh, damn it. I went way too... Wait, 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 wait. We can... Ah, uh, we still could have done it. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm well on my way now. As long as I can get lucky and... Oh, my God. I'm, I'm actually getting pretty good at flying. Too good because I keep over-jumping everything. Oh, God. Don't fall off, lady. Okay, we're up here. Jesus Christ. Is this thing falling? I feel like this thing's slowly falling. So, I got to jump... You know what? I'm going to go right over this. Screw it. <gasps> No! God, this is too hard. This is way too freaking hard. Oh, okay. Thank God for lots of checkpoints. All right. I I'm going to keep trying only because I got a checkpoint, damn it. So, oh, oh, okay. At least, at least I got that star. That's a start. Oh, God. The slow motion hit. Is she? Okay, she was still alive. I love that. If you get hit by the thing, it slow mows you, though. That's a brilliant idea. Okay, here we go. Come on. We got this. We. Oh, God damn it. Not again. Come on. Come on, we're okay. Okay, we're, we're definitely not okay. <laughs> okay, so this was a hard one because, I mean, look at the amount of time I have to stop. Almost no space at all. So definitely the hardest jump yet. This one's going sideways, of course. Looks like it'd be rather easy, though, so let's go for it. <gasps> God, that's the problem. Like, it, it's a freaking rag doll. So the, the one wrong movement with the leg or something and bad things are going to happen. And they always do. God damn it, this is frustrating. All right, guys, I'm giving it to 20 minutes, and then I'm just playing too much with a sex doll without its intended purpose. It's just kind of getting weird. Good start, good start. Just fall right off the freaking platform. We got one minute left. I got to make it to the end, man. I got to. This is, got, this is getting ridiculous. I've spent so much time on this stupid platform. <gasps> oh, see, see, it's, it's so easy to fall off, too, because you have one leg over the side, and it's just going to fall off with you, so... Oh, okay, come on, come on. Yes, yes! Okay. Oh, stop it, stop, stop. Okay, stay on there. Okay, okay, okay. Just one final star. Yes! <gasps> yes! Okay, okay, okay. Putting a time limit on it was a great idea. Now I just got to make it all the way across. That's not easy. Sometimes she flies extremely well. Other times she falls like a rock, and I can't really understand why. So, oh, thank God. Oh, thank the Lord. The sex doll did it. Ah, oh, only took 20 minutes for that freaking level. 
God damn. All right. No. No, that's just... We'll give it a shot, but no, this is just ridiculous. So, obviously, this game is just going to get more and... Oh, God damn. I can't even do the first freaking turn. This is going to get more and more ridiculous the further you go in it, though. You know what? Can, can, we, can we still fly? Oh, we can't fly anymore either. So, this sex doll has special abilities depending on what level you're on. Now we can do the whole crawl thing. I, I can still punch the ground, but that's... Oh, my God. No, no. It's, it's too much, man. I've spent over an hour with a sex doll in a weird-ass game, and that's enough for me. So, yeah, I think this is a, a good time to end off another episode of Weird Ass Games, guys. Uh, checked out some, well, weird-ass games today. That's for damn sure. Now, if you do want to know anything more about any of the games that you saw in this video, link me in the description. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.